mga painumdum para walikayan ang COVID-19. Una, ugasi ang mga kamot. Ikaduha, kun maubo, tabuni ang baba. Ikatulo, likayi ang pagkaputini, mata, irong ug baba. Kaupat, kun magawas, obsebra ang social distancing. Ni kalima, stay at home. Purublig kita manampasan ni ni nga pandemya. Minsahe ti kang hadep at leite, Aral TV, nanini nga stasyon. Today, I hope you're doing great. I am your teacher, Julie. I am so glad to be with you today as we explore and learn the changes in solid materials when they are cut. Kids, have you experienced guessing a riddle? I hope you did. It is fun, right? We will have a guessing activity now. Come on, read with me. I have two handles, but not four paddles. Open shot, open shot. I have blades, but not four planes. I am sometimes a metal, sometimes plastic and is thick. I come as a pair and sometimes used to cut hair. What am I? Say your answer after hearing the sound. Did you guess it right? The answer to the riddle is scissors, a tool for cutting. Good job! I know that you already have independently used scissors in cutting materials. How do you feel each time you hold a pair of scissors? We will read together a poem and tell me later whether you are doing it correctly or not. Cut, cut, cut. Open shot, open shot. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. Tuck your elbows nice and tight. Make sure you hold your scissors right. Fingers on the bottom, thumb on the top. Do not let the paper drop. Hold your scissors straight, not down. Turn your paper round and round. Open shot, open shot. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. Based on the poem we recited, how do we use the scissors to cut? What is your answer? We hold the scissors right, then open and shut. That's the way we cut. Kids, this time you will look at the mysterious boxes that will be flashed on your TV screen. Each box contains a material inside. Say the word cut if it can be cut using a pair of scissors. And the word can't cut if not. Say your answer after hearing the sound. Number one is paper. What is your answer? Correct, it's cut. Number two, Number two is fabric. What is your answer? You got it right. The answer is cut. Number three is glass. What is your answer? Good job. The answer is can cut. Materials made of glass are quite hard for a pair of scissors to cut. How about number four? A piece of wood. What is your answer? Very good! Can't cut. We use a saw in cutting a piece of wood instead of scissors. Number five is... 
cardboard. What is your answer? Great job! The answer is cut. How many correct answers did you get? If you got five, very good. If you got three and four, good. And if you got two and down, don't worry. You can do better in our next activity. Before we proceed, let us put our hands upward, down at the center, and hug. It's just like scissors, we hold it and the two blades get so close like hugging. When they do, they can either cut or not. Kids, let us watch this video.
art paper, candy wrappers, fabrics. What happened to the solid materials when they are cut? You got it right. The solid materials change their size and shape but the original material still remains. What type of change in matter happens when we cut solid materials? Very good! It undergoes a physical change. Kids, let us call our friend. Knock, knock! Dr. Einstein, can you tell us why cutting of solid materials is an example of a physical change in matter? Physical changes occur when the objects or substances undergo a change that does not alter their chemical composition. All physical changes are reversible and their mass does not change. It includes change of size and shape. For instance, cutting paper. Since only the physical properties such as appearance, size, and shape change, but no new material is formed. Thank you to our brilliant friend, Dr. Einstein. Now we know that solid materials can be cut. These materials may change their size and shape, but no new material is being formed. Hence, only the physical appearance of the solid material is changed. Kids, did you know that not all materials can be cut? Kids, did you know that not all solid materials can be cut by using simple scissors? Take a look at this example. Metals, steel, and the likes can be cut using metal cutters or machine so that it will be easier. This time, take a look at the situation that will be flashed on your TV screen. If you are a worker who is using a metal cutter, how can you protect yourself from accident or danger? Yes, you are right. We must be cautious. Always handle tools safely, wear protective gear, and always remember to never play with sharp materials. Kids, let us try the next activity. You will see the questions and choices that will be flashed on your TV screen. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write in your notebook. Write it after hearing this sound. Number 1. Which of the materials will change its size and shape when cut using simple pair of scissors? A. Steel B. Paper Number 2. The sentence is, Only the physical appearance of the solid material changes when cut. A. True B. False Number 3. Mary cuts a piece of bond paper into one half for her foldable making. What changes happened in the bond paper when it was cut? A. New material was formed. B. Size and shape changed. Number 4. Not all solid materials can be cut using simple scissors. Which of the materials can be cut using a metal cutter? A. Nail B. Box Number 5. Which is an example of a physical change in matter? A. Burning of wood B. Chopping of wood Today, we learned that solid materials can be cut, and when cut, these materials may change in size and shape but not in material composition. Also, not all solid materials can be cut using simple scissors. Cutters or machine cut metals. Again, let us remember 
that these sharp tools are not toys. Stay away as much as possible. If you will need, like when you do your assignment or project, handle with care. I hope you had fun learning with me where science is made easy with Teacher Julie.